What's up, YouTube? Another day is in the books, guys, and it was a crazy one. I talked about this in the Discord that today's Fed meeting and his next, this recent 75 basis point rate hike, guys, was going to bring some volatility, and it did just that, guys. I want to hear all about whether you guys took advantage of it or whether you guys just watched the mayhem. But with that being said, guys, check it out. We have earnings still on deck okay so today we kicked it off after hours we had roku reporting they plummeted due to poor guidance but focus on tomorrow guys to kick off the morning i want you guys to pay attention to both conico phillips as well as moderna okay those will be two to just keep your eye on see how they do see how the market reacts to how they report and then guys in after hours we have paypal as well as coinbase and of course, Block, or otherwise known as Square, will be reporting as well, just to kind of see what FinTech is talking about, all right? Pay attention to those closely because we have close ties to some of those plays, all right? We just wanna see how the market responds and how the stock reacts, all right? With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the family members, guys. Charles sent me this. He talked about having a good morning with Apple. He did a put at market open and got in and got out for a hundred dollars and then he seen apple was continuing to fall and he hopped back in with two contracts guys i love this and i love this for a multitude of reasons okay when you guys get in this game okay and when you fully immerse yourself and embrace all that comes with it there will be opportunities sometimes that you can run right back to in your place. Whether you caught Apple running up today when the Fed was speaking or whether, like in Charles' case, he bought a put, got his, and made his money, and then he saw, oh, I made my money, but the stock is continuing to go down. I'm going right back into the well, guys, and, and seeing what more they got in store for me. And I love to see that. I call that rinse and repeating, guys, and finding one play that you can continuously make money with, both to the upside and downside. I just want to say major salute and to all you guys to keep up the great work. Matter of fact, get in the Discord, guys. We've been in on point and we've been on fire inside the Discord, guys, with things we've been calling out, the morning briefings, the things that the pro, pro investors are helping you guys with get in there link for that is in the description below okay guys with the stock market crash on today due to fed powell's speech on today the questions he took after he raised interest rates by another 75 basis points look at this guys the spy is now sitting at 374 we're sitting under 375 dollars okay Again, my levels to the downside was 380. We are five, six dollars below that at this point in time. So a couple things, man, and I'm gonna show, show this same theme with everything we're gonna cover today. With the spy down at this level, okay, this opened a door for now a retest of spy 370. All right. So any move upward from here, especially with the announcement we got today, will just be nothing more than a pump fake. So I'm telling you now, and I'll talk about it in the morning as well, guys, do not fall for the pump fake. The stock is trying to come down, okay? The Fed makes sure he reiterated there will be no pivot, okay? So anybody that was trying to have hopes of a pivot, he, he squashed that, okay? So you have to know if the market doesn't see any light at the end of the tunnel, it's gonna go back down to start trying to retest lows. Don't rule out a potential gap down on tomorrow. I'm telling you the levels, but it might already just fall to that level tomorrow at market open. So look out for that for me, guys, okay? Looking at Tesla, guys, check this one out. This one at its, when it ran up today, went back towards our 230 level, 226. It was a this called a double top, guys. When you see this pattern in the charts, this is called a double top. Eight times out of ten, I want to say nine times out of ten, but eight times out of ten, it leads to a sell-off. So when anytime you see a two test or a double top, typically the market is going to, or that stock, it don't matter what stock it is, it's going to sell off and come down hard. Now this one came all the way down from 226 all the way down and after hours of 214. Okay, but check out where it's at, 214. You guys are all familiar with this, especially if you're in a Discord, because I always tell you the levels of support, 218, 215. Where is it going if it falls from here, guys? 212, 
then 200 okay again it may gap down and wipe out some of those levels so i want you guys to be mindful of that and remember any upward move now that we got this fed meeting out and this rate hike put on us is a pump fake okay you have to know that so if you're going to ride anything up i need you to be in and out or you just let it go up knowing like chris just showed us a two a double top that means it's gonna come down or it's gonna just be a natural pump fake because now the market is gonna to wanna to be coming down to retest some of these support levels and some of these previous made lows, okay? But listen, really quickly, cause I'ma say this, I'ma reiterate this a lot. We are getting close to buy zones. I like Tesla at 200 or below. 200, 180, and 140 is what I'll be looking for. Not saying that stuff is coming this week but i'm just letting you know it's getting close to those levels again when you start to see the stock fall five six percent in a day okay and then look at this guy's apple ticker symbol aapl it fell extremely hard today almost four percent down on the day sitting under 145 so that opens the door for this now to come back to 142 and then it's gonna to come to 141 and 140. See, Apple has a lot of strong support levels, so they don't flush the way the SPY does, the way Tesla does, AMD, NVIDIA. So this one, yup, it's gonna come down, but it's you're gonna notice it's more of a slow bleed. So it'll get there, but if you play this to the downside, please put your expiration date out at least one full week okay so that you can have the time to let this play come down to be safer you can push it out even further so that you know it will make the full move you're looking forward to make okay that's just a little nugget for you guys but listen man we have work to do guys not only can we make money to the downside off of these plays but we also can be getting our position established see as apple for example gets closer to 140 what does that do that is my buy zone okay all of my apple plays I start to nibble at 140. I go a little heavier at 135 and I go crazy at 120 and below. And that's what the cycle is. And then once this come down, it's gonna bounce and then it's gonna shoot to 175, 180. Like clockwork, okay? But these are those opportunities. I wanna make sure that you guys are not abandoning the investing piece, even though you're gonna be making money with me on the trading piece, okay? With that being said, guys, listen, it's been a crazy day in the market, okay? And so I want you to digest it all, take in everything you see, but be ready to make moves based on these new pieces of intel we have now, okay? We got the 75 basis point rate hike, guys, we have the Fed, commentary out the way so now the market is going to make his next move okay look for some pops to the upside but for them to be sold off it's called selling the rips okay and then the market will kind of try to grind down lower but be patient don't just run in blindly don't just don't front run the plays react to what you see okay you still got to be surgical in this game all right with that being said guys listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.